type of breakdown, closure trades, short the market. If this thing breaks out and goes higher above 31,800. All right, thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto almost daily, jumping right into the market. Today in crypto, Bitcoin had a weekly close, still stuck under this $31,800 level, which would give you a breakout to the upside of this previous support, previous support, and resistance. Now it's a ceiling, right? So if you don't break above this, break down, short the market. This market loves to pull a bear trap and then run the other direction. The most important thing is here's your low, your high, Potentially, we don't know yet, right? Because it hasn't changed directions. Let's say this is the double top high, gets confirmed, it comes down here, puts in a higher low, bullish, if it bounced there, right? That would give us another good clue as to far as, you know, when's Bitcoin gonna take off? Uh, there was some disappointing news about, there's a lot of doubts that any spot Bitcoin ETFs get approved by the Democratic Party, Democratic President office. They said the Republicans get voted in the higher chance of, I mean, some are very pro Bitcoin. Bitcoin daily chart, uh, you're still in this rising broadening channel, right? Which is supposed to break lower, but you do have a falling wedge right here with the measured move, bringing you back up here at 31,650. So again, it's gotta break this level, gotta break this level more upside right that would open you'd open your long positions because you run 35,000 40,000 45,000 most important thing I want to talk to you in this video is it's a lot different than the videos I've been talking about because we're going to cover some altcoins and what I'm looking for um we put together an altcoin long-term hold list moon bag edition and we're going to talk about what I'm looking for what I want to see, what coins perform best from my perspective. And then we've got some talented folks in the group that are bringing these to my attention. So pretty amazing what we're putting together uh, in the trading group spot version. I've got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group. First, I'm giving for the rest of the week until next Sunday on the website, you can join the leverage trading group right now. Six months, you get $100 off. The coupon code is leverage100. If you want $200 off, you sign up for the year. You get 13 months. You get a leverage 200 coupon code. We'll give you $200 off. If, if you want to pay with the card, you want to pay with crypto, you can subtract the difference. Just email me, crypto, Bitcoin, Chris at gmail.com or you can go to cryptorev.net it's pretty clear i mean we we're nailing bangers after bangers after bangers lpt 900 percent 210 percent 155 109 105 87 82 81 79 61 54 48 32 spot trading groups killing it too that's where the moon bag coins are going to be posted now the good example of what you get in the leverage group is Essentially, a person posts the setup, ridiculous performance. And, you know, he, he's calling the move out and he's saying, hey, he, he following up with it, you can move the stop loss to break even. And then another 30 minutes later, waiting for the breakout and the breakout happens. And everybody that was paying attention made 33%. It's like, just follow the leader, right? They're calling out the trades and following up with them. Let's go to FRM. So this is Ferrum Network. This is one of the picks, and I'll show you why. You come down here. If you don't have access to KuCoin, some people don't in the United States, all you have to do is use Uniswap. There's plenty of videos all over the internet. Um, I'll even, we've got one in group, but I'll, I'll work on putting something out for you guys. But I want to show you the charts of one of the most successful picks we had last bull market, Axie Infinity. I had 30 setups on it, I think, posted. 
but I want to show you what we're looking for and what you, you should look for. And I think a lot of the newer coins are going to have the most upside, but when they get added to the bigger exchanges, you see huge run-ups as well. So one idea is you take more risk and you go into like Uniswap, PancakeSwap, KuCoin has FRM right now. When, when I'm talking about these coins, these are long-term hold coins. I mean, like a year, year and a half, maybe. I mean, you can go through the fundamentals where they're really focused on the era of interoperability 2.0, powered by the quantum portal, Ferrum's network, mainnet nodes, and related infrastructure are going to bring value, data, functional interoperability to every chain in the industry. They're specializing in multi-chain blockchain as a service DeFi company. They add a defla deflationary mechanism, token utility, and advisory services to projects across the crypto space. Right, so this is a coin that's already had an amazing run-up and it's got crushed by the bear market. FRM was doing nothing all the way back here in 2019, right? This is accumulation. This is where the whales start buying, right? This is where like nothing's happening and the whales know that, hey, this coin is going to take off at a point because the bull market's coming and it's going to do crazy multiples. This thing ran from way less than a penny, a fraction of a penny, up to 88 cents, right? So it had ridiculous amounts of upside. Then you see it's obviously barely holding on, doing nothing, and they need to reinvent themselves. And they've, they're doing things to do that, right? And so they just passed some proposals, they're still working on development, they're coming out with monthly development reports, and that's what you wanna see, is you, don't, you wanna see constant updates, like you go over to their Twitter and you can find and see that they're working on their project. This is a smaller cap coin, 2.5 million, right? This is not about Insta pumps. It's about long-term accumulation to build your bags. So this is just one idea. What I really like, this is AXS, but what I want to need you to understand is that we nailed AXS. So this is AXS, Axie Infinity. And you see I had crazy amounts of upside but you can use a program it's called charts.cointrader.pro and you can pull all the price history right From back in the days when it was potentially just launched on uniswap or on pancakeswap one of the dexes right and you can see like the price back here in november 2020 so you can see that obviously this started out just doing completely nothing. And it took a year for this thing to take off. I really like the new coins, but will you get a pump later from AXS? Probably, right? It's going through accumulation. It's forming that bottom, right? After you get a good solid bottom formed and you start to curve higher, a lot of times it rounds. Again, we're looking for this as like very long-term type situation. But it's already had these crazy run-ups. So we're going to be covering a lot of the new coins, but the new coins are going to get pushed out when the market starts to take off. Because remember, all the developers, they're the biggest holders of these coins. So they want to put, put, push out the news. They want to put out a new coin right when all the new money's coming in. Right? But the Bitcoin brings everybody into the market and then money flows into the larger caps, mid caps, and smaller caps. However, you do have anomalies, very small caps, that have done really well. We're doing a good job at finding them. We have a real high win rate in the group. But the most important thing is, like, you got to have a bunch of patience for these moon bags. I'm not saying throw arm at these guys, right? And so we'll be covering more of these coins Aram is in a situation where FRM is in a situation where it's been in long-term accumulation and the best and safest time to enter these coins is going to be, you know, just before the halving. But there's definitely people that are accumulating coins now. Don't want it to die. I, some of these coins are getting delisted off KuCoin, but they're developing, they're working on the coin, they're 
coming out with interoperability version 2.0 and it's powered by the quantum portal you know so they're, they're coming out and they're kind of reinventing themselves right they're they're creating and they're building right and so multi-chain infrastructure for their decentralized applications and their projects which is going to be huge because what are these what are these coins going to do if they can't communicate with one another so ferrum fills that void frm is on our watch list right now in group we have a list of coins i gave today but it's all about timing right timing if bitcoin pulls back then what happens to the altcoins most of them 95 percent of them pull back with it but after you get a good solid base in place like there's a point where it's just reaccumulation whales are buying really slow and then whales sell the run-up right because they've been accumulating for an extended period of time and they know to take profits and sell and not hold this downtrend a lot of people make this mistake and it's okay i mean probably mo most people fall going to the top of the coins in the beginning and then they just deal with a bunch of downside this idea you're thinking ahead a year year and a half for your moon back and we had a guy, he put, I think, $20 in, like, 20 coins on KuCoin. He made, like, $7,000, um, which is obviously pretty good. He hit B Pro for 100x. The important thing is I just want you guys to understand that when these coins get listed on exchanges, you have the ability to go on to these DEXs and pick up these coins at lower prices. However, it's super high risk because, like, 1 in 5, 1 in 10 is over just rug pull there's a bunch of fake contract addresses like they're trying to take your money right they're trying to trick you and then you've got you know there's difficulty uh as far as getting in and out of the coins you have to have your slippage set um so there are some challenges but the deeper in the mud that you dig for these gems there's those are where you get your 100x coins right but next c has a ridiculous amount of coins right now the liquidity is not there yet but as more people come into this market and they look for places to trade and want to get into these small altcoins but they don't know how to use uniswap metamask etc and so they'll, they'll gravitate to some of the coins that are on the smaller exchanges kucoin is actually doing a lot less volume right now than Maxi. Make sure, use the VIP link in the description, join Maxi. And I mean, Maxi is just built better than any exchange I've seen. Now, there was some downtime last night right, because I was talking with the team and they let me know what was happening. I mean, they just have had a flood influx of people joining, amazing leverage trading, next level interface. And now they're just adding servers, adding servers, adding servers. And Maxi has seen a huge run up as far as the number of active users, the daily volumes increased. And so you want to be on a good exchange, probably a couple of them. Most important idea is timing. Okay. So we want to see once, once the coins have kind of bottomed, and then I'm going to be, the newer coins are going to be coming out too. So the newer coins to me are a lot easier because they've got that initial run up. You know, they're going to put out the coin and they're waiting on this market to take off. Right? They're going to put out the coin in the bull market because from a business model, they get in touch with essentially everybody's paid in the coin. Right. And so they have to build the value of the coin, potentially do something with the coin, unless they create a meme coin and then it's just homo pump rally mania when meme coin season comes. So this market is something that you have to understand. It's not really about, oh, this coin is going to change the world. It's more about everybody else perceives this coin. And then how good is the marketing? How good are they selling the dream? Right? So that's important when you're looking at these long-term holds 
just going to the website, looking at the team, looking at, you know, whether the team's anonymous or if they're anonymous team is a little bit shady, right? They, they don't want to say who they are. Um, why not? So there's, there's all kinds of red flags that you can pick up on with these newer coins, but the older coins that have been around, and when I say older, um, I'll actually pull it over. So this was the trading group, AXS, and we started posting it, buy setups for it, 11, 14 of 2020, 11, 20 of 2020, 11, 29, 12, 7. I mean, it was posted, posted, posted. I went over the white paper in 12, 15, 2020. So let's look where that's at. 12, 15 of 2020, right here. 12, 15, technically it's right there. Okay. So you had to wait. I mean, there was some upside. There was some, definitely some money to be made right here on this run up. And we did. I think I posted it like 30 times. Literally, like 30. Just you scroll up pages and pages and pages of AXS. And we have a super high success rate because I've got the strongest team of traders working with me. The newer coins, and this is, you know, the big play to earn narrative was playing out. And so you have to understand, you know, what make these what makes these coins green? People were super excited about this, and this is the greatest thing ever. And the bear market pops, it's crashed, crumbled, wrecked. Now you're down here at five dollars, but slowly over time you'll see reaccumulation happen and potentially another run up out of AXS. So this long term, when you when you see these coins, and we nailed SHIB really good last season. So again, you can see here in group SHIB, new coin on Binance, meme coin like Doge, and then obviously SHIB had crazy run up right elon started talking about it and it had an insane run up after long-term accumulation right we nailed it as a gem pick i'll be releasing a lot of these newer coins that come out as they come out but what happens is as a youtuber and i don't do them but they'll brag they'll, they'll you know say hey or we got so and so so and so so and so all these big youtubers that are going to push our coin and so I kind of have an edge. I know what coins are going to move based on, it's a game, right? You see what everybody else is doing and you can have a real good idea that you're going to get some good positive price action out of the move. However, is it going to be short-lived or it's a pump and dump? Or are you going to see real good organic growth that's going to happen after the Bitcoin halving? And that's where you're, biggest run-ups will be in most cases, right? And so this is just a general idea that I want you guys to understand on how these coins work. So when I give you ideas for long-term holds, you understand like you're basically, you know, you can buy them and or get them to a point. And if you see Bitcoin run up crazy, obviously, you can look to take some profits, but understand like just with AXS, like you have this huge run up and then you have a pullback from $94 to $48, almost a 50% pullback. And then it spikes to $163, right? Way down here, we started talking about it is a dollar, right? So we're up 160X on this thing. The all coin season is coming and we're just doing it a little different now. And we're going to start talking about these coins, the daily chart for Bitcoin. You've got the Bollinger bands getting very, very tight, right? So the idea of a move coming is pretty close, right? I mean, just waiting, it's just a waiting game on Bitcoin, right? But this gives you time to potentially look at all coins and and make sure and comment what all coins that you like in the comment box below hit the subscribe button obviously like the video i'll see you guys tomorrow